solar eclipses. Uh, it, folks might remember back in 2017, there was a total solar eclipse that passed through part of the United States, but we didn't see it. We saw what's called a partial. So with a partial solar eclipse, only part of the sun is covered. Uh, for us here in Buffalo, is in August of 2017, mm -hmm. uh, we saw about three quarters of the, the sun covered. And, um, you know, that was really interesting, but it, it doesn't compare to what's going to happen on April 8th, where the entire sun is, is blocked out. So there's different eclipses, right? There's a, like a, um, because sometimes you can see some of the sun, and this time you won't be able to see none of the sun. I mean, you'll see that it is going to, so this, so is this, so, so, but is, but in a partial eclipse, can you look at the sun? No, the partial eclipse is that time when you have to be careful to uh, use eclipse glasses or other protection mm -hmm. uh, because the sun, even if just a little bit of it is showing, is still really bright and would damage your eyes. Um, right. The way I like to describe it is like on a normal day like today, we wouldn't be outside looking at the sun because one, it hurts, but also it would damage your eyes. Right. And the same thing happens during a partial eclipse. And actually for April 8th, uh, we want to remember that the entire eclipse actually lasts about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. uh, the middle part of it is that totality when the entire sun is blocked out. But for most of it, we're going to see a partial phase. So yeah. before totality, more and more of the sun gets covered. After totality, we're able to see more and more of the sun. During those partial phases, it's really important that if you're looking at the sun, you have to use eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. So why is this eclipse... The moon is going to go in front of the sun. This is what the eclipse is, right? So it's going to block the sun out. Exactly. Yep. Why is this such a big, big, I mean, like everybody's like coming from all over the country and all over the you know, world to see this eclipse. Why is such a big thing? Uh, the main thing is that uh, it doesn't happen very often. Okay. Uh, a solar eclipse happens roughly every 18 months to two years, mm -hmm. but you have to be in that narrow area called the path of totality to see the sun totally blocked out. And the last time that happened here in Buffalo was in 1925, so almost 100 years ago. Um, after April 8th, the next time that a total solar eclipse will happen here in Buffalo and Western New York is 120 years in the future, in 2144. So part of it is that you know, it's special because it's so rare. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is that it's special because of what we see during totality is so different and special that it, it really moves a lot of people. They, they have different reactions to it. So, the, so, this, so the, to get this straight, the whole country will not be seeing the total eclipse. Exactly. Just right. a certain narrow, they say like 30 million people, but just a certain narrow uh, path from Texas to, to New York State in that only path, you'll be able to see the total. So what happens So what happens to the other parts of the country? What will they see? So uh, you're exactly right. You have to be in that path that goes from you know, Texas up through New York, uh, over to Maine. And in this area, that's only about 110 miles wide. So for instance, it doesn't extend to Toronto. So folks in Toronto won't see the total solar eclipse. Uh, if you are outside of the eclipse uh, path, the t path of totality, like you asked, um, the rest of the country will see a partial solar eclipse. So that's why tons of people are coming here to see the eclipse, right? Exactly. The total eclipse. That's that's yep. what. It, that's what. It, okay. So, what time and locations are, are will, will, will we be able to see the eclipse? What times and locations will so we be able to see it? Location-wise, um, what's really nice about this eclipse is that that Buffalo is right along the center of that path of totality. Okay. So, uh, as long as you're within say 20 or 30 miles of that center, you're gonna see about the same thing. Um, right. And so for all of us in Buffalo, uh, time-wise, the eclipse will start around uh, 2.05 in the afternoon mm -hmm. on April 8th. That's when that partial eclipse will start. Um, totality will be about uh, 3.18 to 3.22. Good morning, welcome good morning, to the city welcome, 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 welcome. Hello. Morning. Welcome to a same moment. Two One, if you're in an airplane or something like that, mm. does that, will that affect what you see in terms of solar eclipse? And two, usually there are things that happen um, during the solar eclipse. You know, there are things like what? What happens in the, in the total darkness of the solar eclipse? 
Yeah, uh, great questions. Thank you. Um, that was a good so, if you're on an airplane, if you're on the uh, say window um, on the side where you can see the eclipse, uh, if you're in the path of totality, you'd be able to see the same things we would be seeing here in Buffalo. Um, so, if you happen to be on a plane during the eclipse, um, bring eclipse glasses with you because you still need them to view it safely. Um, in terms of those other things that happen. Um, they actually start happening before totality. So, you know, speaking of timing, uh, to your question earlier, Carrie, um, around three o'clock or so in the afternoon, um, again, partial phase starts around 2.05. You want to use your eclipse glasses to safely look at the sun. From about 2.05 to 3.18, we'll see more and more of the sun covered. But starting around three o'clock, we'll start to notice the, the brightness and color of the light changing a little bit. Okay. Uh, you want to notice the shadows on the ground, they'll get a little bit sharper. As we get closer to totality and you're watching with your eclipse glasses the uh, crescent sun gets thinner and thinner and thinner, the last thing you'll see before totality is that uh, the last bit of sunlight showing past the sun will look like a bright dot or, or bright area and the rest of the area around the moon will start to glow. It'll look kind of like a diamond ring. So that's called the diamond ring effect. Uh, it only lasts a few seconds, maybe three to five or ten seconds. Once that disappears and you can't see anything through your eclipse glasses, then we're into totality. Uh, when the sun is totally blocked, that's when it's safe to take off your eclipse glasses to look at the sun. You actually want to take off your eclipse glasses because you... Wait, 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 no. So, yeah. thanks a lot, Sam. Yeah. Does it sound effort? Yeah, thank you. But anyway, so you're saying that when it's total eclipse, it's okay to take your glasses off. Exactly. That's weird. That's yeah. the first time I've ever heard that. That's the, uh, and that's why we want to talk to folks like you, because yeah. we want to make sure people know when it's safe to take them off uh, so that they do experience totality. Um, because when the sun is totally blocked, it's safe to look at the sun. So you want to look at the sun, you're going to see the moon blocking the main part of the sun, but you'll be able to see what's called the corona mm -hmm. around the sun that is kind of so like the outer atmosphere. What time will total eclipse happen? Uh, around 3.18. 3.18? Yep. That's what time that you're going to... So, but you don't need glasses at 3.18. Well, you want them leading up to it. You want them leading up to yeah, it. But so then you take them off. Then you can take them off when the sun is... in the watch with your... Oh, okay. Yep. So this whole thing is to prepare yourself to look up to it, right? At, 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 oh, okay, so. Yeah, and, and, uh, and when it gets dark like that, um, mm -hmm. other things to mention is that you're going to want to look for bright stars and bright planets. Uh, Are you going to be able to see the stars and stuff, too? Some of them. How not, cool is that? It's not going to be like nighttime. And, It'll be like a, a half an hour after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so t tell our listeners how dangerous this is. Now, now they just said it's not dangerous <laughs> to look at the total eclipse. Tell us how dangerous this is to look at it before the eclipse happens, when you're looking up there, when you can see the partial. Tell our listeners how dangerous that is right. without so, the glasses. Yeah, so it's um, it's really important to understand that uh, the only time it's safe to look at the sun without eclipse glasses right. is during those few minutes of totality. But uh, otherwise, if you're looking at the partial phase, it's really dangerous. You know, uh, again, you don't look up at the sun on a normal day because it will hurt your eyes. Right. The same thing during a partial mm -hmm. eclipse. So that's why we want to make sure that folks get eclipse glasses and are able to view it safely. And Although speaking it, of eclipse glasses, we'll have them here at Waffle at 716-837-1112. Um, we have tons of them. So if you want one, um, come down to the station or call in and ask for one. Um, we have tons of eclipse glasses that Dr. Uh, Professor uh, Kevin Williams gave us. Uh, so we have a bunch of them, and we'll have um, until Eclipse Day. I guess we'll have enough. Uh, tell us how how do you view this uh, safely? Uh, the main thing is uh, if you're looking at the sun during those partial phases, mm -hmm. is to use those eclipse glasses. Um, mm -hmm. And what I also tell people is that it's not only because of the safety. I mean, obviously you want to make sure it's safe, uh, but if you try to look at the sun without eclipse glasses. During those partial phases, you actually wouldn't see the partial phase because the sun is so bright. Mm -hmm. So you would damage your eyes and you wouldn't see anything. Yeah, so you'd damage your eyes plus you won't see anything. Yeah. So tell us, some people say you can use your cell phone. Uh, you can, um, but again, it's, it's like your eyes, your cell phone isn't going to see that partial phase unless you right. have a, a special filter for it. Right. Um, uh, the other thing that's a little bit... You, know, you have to be careful with cell phones is that you want to make sure that if you're doing that, that you're looking at your phone and you're not looking at the sun with your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so you can actually put your, you can look, do like this 
No. There's no. I mean, I don't get it. Yeah, if uh, pretty much it's safe as long as you're not directly looking at the sun. Uh -huh. right? um, anytime you're directly looking at the sun with your eyes, uh, you have to make sure you're using eclipse glasses, except for totality. And, and I don't think I mentioned it, but that time when the sun is totally blocked out is only 3 minutes and 45 seconds. So it'll go by fast. We want to make sure people are aware of the time so that they're not, you know, they don't run in the house to grab something right during totality. Okay. And so you can like you go if you, you you can miss it really quick. Yeah, it'll go by fast. It'll go by three minutes, then the sun is covered. So so what happens is the sun starts going from different the moons you can see the moon actually moving in front of the sun during the before the total eclipse, right? Exactly. So yeah. you could that's when you're gonna need your glasses the most, right? Right. So you look at it and go, okay, yeah. all right, that's that's just and so and the, and you said that the safety is only uh, are just is just other than glasses. Is there other way to watch this thing? Yeah, uh, this, this, you may have heard of a, a pinhole projector where basically you take a piece of cardboard or something like that mm -hmm. and you put a small hole in it, mm -hmm. and you don't use that to look at the sun. What you do is you let the sunlight pass through that hole, and it will project an image of the sun onto another piece of paper. Right. Um, that's safe because you're not looking directly at the sun. What would you say to people who have eye problems? Be very careful. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't want to make it worse. Uh, but uh, there's no reason why they wouldn't be able to look at the eclipse as long as they have the the eclipse glasses. What about parents with their children? What should they tell their children? Because their children are probably going to be so interested, and they'll look probably look up before a parent got a chance to uh, put glasses on. What do you, should you tell them? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. I think it, it depends on the age of the the child. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you want to make sure that you talk to them beforehand so they they know. The safety aspect. You can even practice, right? You can you can look at the sun with eclipse glasses, either earlier that day before the eclipse or on a day before April eighth. Um, with little kids, like mm -hmm. say somebody who's two years old, you might not <clears throat> want to have them trying to look at the sun. Um, they're not going to worry. I mean, they're not going to remember it, and um, you know, they might be more apt to take off their eclipse. Just glasses. don't. Just don't have. You got a baby or yeah. something. Just don't. Let right. them keep them in the house, right? Yeah, or at least, um, I mean, you can bring them outside, but they're not going to be looking up at the sun anyway. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so can you just go out, and, do you have to go to a certain location? You could just go outside? You can house, just go outside, yep, that's what's great. Uh, since, like I said, all of Buffalo is in the path of totality, you can just go outside. Uh, the sun is going to be high in the sky in the southwest, so you want to you know, make sure you don't have any trees or, or buildings in the way. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what's great about it. You can just... Can just go right wherever. outside and yep. put your glasses on. Maybe and get together with your neighbors and yeah, have so a little party. Yeah, so you don't party. have to go, yeah. like, to a baseball stadium or anything like that. No. Like trying um, to prepare, won't you Yeah, do? I mean, you can. Um, like at Buffalo State, we're having a, a big event. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where what, we that, what is happening at Buffalo State? Um, in, in, the, in, in the planetarium? What, what, what's yeah, so um, it's actually... Uh, we're not doing anything at the, at the planetarium that day because right. it's indoors, but uh, our event, which is called Eclipse Fest, is out at our football field. Mm -hmm. um, it's a ticketed event because we want to make sure that we can control the crowds. Uh, and uh, there's going to be a stage with entertainment, um, guided viewing. Um, people get um, things like souvenirs, like a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be food trucks. So, you know, it's a big a big party. But, um, but like you said, um, folks can just view it from their front yard, backyard, uh, uh, on the sidewalk, wherever they want. So you could just go outside, put your glasses on. Um, oh wow! So this is this is very interesting because it seems like everybody's just like gotta see it, gotta be here. It is. Have you ever seen? Uh, no, <laughs> I I haven't seen a total eclipse. Uh, only because <laughs> um, back in 2017, I didn't travel to the path of totality. I stayed here in Buffalo to help educate people about what we were seeing here. So um, I'm really excited for April 8th. Uh, so other parts of the country. So if you want, so it comes more than, it, it, it's here more than 100 years apart, but it's in other parts of the country, the total. Right, yeah. So, okay. So we had one in 2017. After April 8th, the next one what is What was it in 20 2017? It, it was in a path that went from, like, Oregon down to South Carolina. Okay. Um, and so this is where they're getting all the information from about people. They know people are going to just flock to the area. Yeah, we're, we benefit from their experiences uh, back in 2017. Yeah. Yep. But you're saying that just stay home and look at look outside, get yourself some glasses. You can come down to Waffle and get glasses. We have a ton of them now because you're going to give us a 1,000, right? Maybe 2,000 if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say, Lee? <laughs> so we're going to have a Waffle. We'll have sunglasses here. Just come and get them. Um, for the total eclipse, so you don't have to worry about it if you just need a glass. Uh, some glasses, we're almost out. 
of time. What would you say? Because we're going to be on the show tomorrow, right? You're going to be on here with the mayor, right? On the Brown Show, Talk yeah. of Time, with my, so I'll be on that show too. So, what would you like to say to our listeners though about April eighth and being safe? And this, I, and I, I guess it's um, you know it's really important to prepare to be safe, but I would also encourage people to be excited about it because this is an amazing event. It's something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. They don't want to miss it. I guess you, you don't know what it is until you see it because I've <laughs> yeah, never seen it. It's hard to explain. So a lot of the listeners now will be looking and they'll be, you know, I guess you can't miss it. All right, so we're out of time. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. You have a good day tomorrow. Um, Oh, well, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll right, see you tomorrow. Right. Okay. So, hey, this is the CM Moment Radio Show. We love you. Happy Easter. Uh, Resurrection Day is tomorrow. And enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. We'll see you back here next week on WFO Radio 96.5-1080. Thank you. Bye-bye. You just heard a senior moment with Kerry Saunders. Join Kerry every Saturday morning.